Today in the grain market, soybeans were mixed that some uh, private firms are reducing Brazilian crop uh, estimates right now. The futures did have a 15 cent range. We were down about three cents. Uh, but the futures were mostly hanging on to yesterday's 16 and three quarter cent rally. So I think those gains seem to be pretty solid for right now. We had a little bit of selling in the calls and buying of the puts in the open interest on that Jan contract. Now the fence there is the $14 on the call side and $13 on the put side. And so we're remaining in that range really for the time being. CVAL for soybeans is 18.5% with the oil at 32.5 and the meal at 30%. All three are a little bit lower than they had been uh, for the, early, uh, the last couple of days. Now today corn did firm up as well that the demand for exports is a little bit better, but yet we made another new low for the fifth day in a row. Uh, we were slowly being weighed down by that record harvest that's coming up. But technically, we had a low and rebounded to a, a higher than yesterday. That could be a real solid reversal, something to be watching as we go forward now. Uh, the CVAL four corners at 17.8%. Wheat is up again. That bearish tone uh, is making a big turnaround right now. Funds that are holding those short positions are on notice that they could be vulnerable to a bullish surprise, and that would certainly create quite a scramble. It hasn't quite happened yet, but we are 31 cents higher than from Monday's low. So that's a real uh, solid reversal here and kind of a little bit of the excitement for the moment. But traders still remain a little bit cautious at this time. Uh, March was up 15 cents and the option open interest added 2,000 to the put side. So maybe some protection on the downside. The fence there is the call's highest open interest is $7 and the puts is 570. That being said, there's a little bit of an outlier up at $9. We have a 14,000 open interest for wheat, and that's a pretty high number compared to where we have been. So that's something just to be watching in the future that we're going to be uh, keeping an eye on. Now, CVAL for wheat is at 29.7%, and all eyes are going to be focused on that USDA report that's going to be coming up next week.